Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this natural glam that I do every single day whenever I really don't want to put that much effort into my face. This is just something so I don't look dead. But anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and take this rose water from Measurable Difference and then I'm just going to drown myself in it until I cannot take the smell anymore. This is just um, a hydrating spray that I'm just going to put on before I put on my primer. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Bosha T-Zone treatment and then I'm just going to put that exactly where it says on the T-Zone and then I'm just going to take the leftover and then just rub it all into the rest of my face. And following that, I'm going to go in with my Dream Liquid Mousse foundation with a Precision Beauty sponge and then I'm just going to blend that all into the face. I got this sponge at Walmart in a two pack. It was only like $10 and I actually really love them. Okay, now I'm going in with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. And then I'm just going to do my little brows off camera really quick. And there you go. Okay, and right after that, I'm going to take my Infallible Pro Matte Powder with this big fluffy brush and then I'm just gonna set my whole face with this powder. This is a drugstore powder that I got and I'm actually really loving as you can tell since I've already hit pan and it's almost empty. <laughs> I use this basically every day when I'm not really going anywhere and it's very natural but it does also add um, some coverage. Okay so now I'm going in with my measurable difference um, contour palette and I'm taking the two, actually the one lightest shade and I'm just gonna set my under eyes this is going to act as my like highlight, my highlighter under the eyes since I didn't really want to add concealer since I'm not really going anywhere. But yeah, it brightens up the eyes just like a concealer would so I actually am really loving it. And as you can see I'm putting this everywhere that I would put a concealer, um, under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead, and wherever else I feel like I just need to be a little bit brighter. Using that same palette, I'm going to go in with the, the lighter shade of the two dark ones and I'm just going to use this Morphe M527 and I'm just going to use that to warm up the skin a little bit and I'm not even being precise with it, I'm just basically bronzing up my whole face. But the good thing about this contour palette is that it's all matte, it has no shimmers and I'm just really loving it right now. So yeah! <sighs> My hair gets so annoying because it like doesn't say anywhere because it's blah, 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 because it's so curly. So I usually just have to like move it out of the way whenever I'm working with my face because I don't really like to add any clips or anything in it because I feel like I just look like a little boy. But anyways, I'm just going to take um, a beauty blender and this one's not even damp and I'm just going to take that same shade and I'm going to go ahead and go on the sides of my nose just to snatch it up a little bit because I don't want it looking like a freaking big old, I don't even know. But yeah, that's basically what I do on the daily with my contour. Now I'm just going to take this air spun and my damp sponge and then I'm just going to clean up the contour and the middle of my nose and also the sides. So here it is in a little bit faster motion because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to bake by now. Or just clean up the contour so you don't look like a sloppy freaking mess and people don't talk stuff about you. But anyways, I'm going to go in with this lightest shade on my eyes just because I don't like to put anything on my eyes without a shadow underneath. So that's basically what this is because it's actually the same color as my skin. So yeah, I just lay it down so I can put on eyeliner and mascara. As you can see, I always do my mascara before my eyeliner. I don't know why. I feel like it just acts as a little guide. I don't know. That's just me. I'm weird. But yeah, I don't even add a very dramatic wing, just something very simple so my, my eyes don't look like shut. And on the daily, yes, I do add false lashes because I feel so naked without them. Even whenever I don't wear makeup, I go ahead and add my false lashes just so I don't look completely, like, gross. Sometimes I go in with a blush. Not all the time, just I guess today I was just feeling like that kind of girl but yeah I went in with the same brush I used to put on my contour and now I'm just using the little Morphe M501 to put on my highlight 
and surprisingly in this video I didn't go crazy on my highlight but I usually do but who doesn't right I love highlight and this is a drugstore highlight from Went Wild as always precious petals I use this in every single video I think I love it I just can't get enough of it and it was only $3.99 so yeah Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish off with my light lip gloss, and I don't know why it's freaking empty, but yeah, and that basically completes the whole look. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I will see y'all later.